eroded coastlines, a rise in sea levels, hotter, longer dry seasons, shorter flood-prone wet seasons, more and stronger hurricanes. That's the face of climate change in Jamaica. But we have an important tool in the fight against the change in weather systems, and that's by planting a tree. Trees have been known to remove carbon dioxide and release oxygen into the atmosphere, and by this process reduce climate change. That's why the state has committed itself to a planting program tagged 3 million trees in three years. The number represents Jamaica's population of 3 million and the trees will be planted over a three-year period. Managed by the Forestry Department, the initiative will expand public and private forested areas. Two million timber seedlings will be planted by the Forestry Department and the rest will be issued to the public for planting. The project started in 2019 and has been steadily gaining traction. In a one-year period, over 272,000 seedlings have been distributed for planting. They include a mixture of timber, ornamental and fruit trees. Several public and private entities have come on board. And recently, the National Road Operating and Construction Company Limited, EDROC, joined the campaign. Enrock has been constructing toll roads for the past 20 years and we have built more than 100 kilometers of toll roads. When you build, obviously you then impact on the environment by removing, removing existing trees. So as part of the project we gave a commitment to put back trees that were lost and not just put back trees but put back additional trees over and above um, those which were taken out as part of the highway construction. And so, 483s were planted along a section of the North-South Highway toll road in Nisted St. Catherine. The area is being used as a test site for NROC's plans to reforest and beautify lands adjacent to the toll road it manages. Blue Maho, Spanish Elm and Pink and Yellow Pui seedlings were planted. As part of the process, the Forestry Department requires us to to maintain the trees over at least a three-year period until the forest is, is, is established. And then they will go into what they call their routine maintenance. NROC will undertake the, the cost for the maintenance over the period, um, but forests will actually do the actual implementation based on our discussion going forward with them. Um, we are working on an MOU um, with the Forestry Department that will look at um, planting trees on the North-South Highway, the East-West Highway, and then when we get to Montego Bay, the Montego Bay Perimeter Road um, um, corridor. We were approached by the UA Rotaract Society to plant trees and we thought this was an ideal opportunity to partner with them to build on that initiative of planting three million trees as the PM had indicated. One of the points that we came up with was trying to help with climate change. So we're doing a series of tree planting and beach cleanups. The planting activities began early in the morning, but first, a demonstration in the proper way to plant a tree. We don't want to plant it anywhere above this region here, all right? You end up burying the plant, so you're not killing the plant, right? It's not a funeral. You're help, trying to help it to grow and survive, right? But when you're going to plant it, ensure that the soil but right now we primarily have clay soil. And then the planting began in earnest. It's a good initiative in that it shows people that, you know, it, it shows to them what it is like to plant a tree, you know, why it is important is actually um, really groundbreaking for us. I think it's a great initiative because Jamaica, it's so beautiful and if we could do our part in making sure that beauty stays and natural beauty stays, that's all we need. It's not often that you'll really see much over in a pandemic even that people are really coming out, they're really being self-serving and giving of themselves to come and actually take care of the country which we have to call home. So 
I mean, it's a pleasure. <laughs> it's actually an honor to be a part of that kind of initiative. Replanting the trees will, will be good for our environment, good for our water system, as well as the air quality. This is actually a good use for planting flowering ornamental trees so people see it from the highway. It makes the highway more attractive. So it's been really enriching. Uh, it has taken me out of my comfort zone and I can definitely say um, that I've learned a lot of things. And I think it's really, really important and that is why I took the time to come because I think um, we need a lot more plants. If you are interested in being a part of the 3 Million Trees Initiative, contact the Forestry Department at 876-618-3205 or visit 173 Constant Spring Road. Remember, plant a tree today and secure your future tomorrow.